views expressed on this program are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and are not necessarily those of this station, its management, or other advertisers. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. The doctor is in. Welcome to the Psychic Love Doctor with host Deborah Lee. Deborah has been practicing, teaching, and perfecting the personal prophecy card reading method for 20 plus years. This life affirming, highly perceptive reading method has taught Deborah how to zero in on specific problems with relationships, career pursuits, and current roadblocks to success and happiness. This inspiring show will help you never feel helpless in life or love ever again. Now, here's your host, Deborah Lee. Hi, welcome to the Psychic Love Doctor Show with our fabulous host, Deborah Lee. And of course, our very horse intuitive co host, Daryl. <laughs> yes, he's still suffering, the poor thing, with his bronchitis slash pneumonia. And we're hoping that all this energy today, Daryl, is going to help to wipe that right out of you. Do you want to say hello to? He's watching, he's checking Facebook right now as we await Lisa's arrival. Yes. Uh, Nina says I should get, put eucalyptus or peppermint in our diffuser. Okay. We can do that. We've got that. We should get rolling now on the topic of passion. Now, if you really think about it, passion is an essential part of our lives as human beings. It isn't all about just trudging to work every day going through the trials and tribulations that we face every day, there'd better be a beautiful rainbow or a beautiful shaft of sunlight. There's going to have to be something that will lift up our hearts, that gives us that reason to feel happiness and joy in life. And to me, that is passion. Before you get too far, if you want to give us a call, call us at one 800 930 2819. Thank you, Daryl. I like to think that passion is really the life but blood of our entire existence. For without it, life is dry, colorless. It's really very hollow. Personal prophecy card reading, which again, for those who are joining us, is just using an ordinary deck of playing cards as the focal point for that type of perception is focused on two very important things. One is hope, and the other is passion. And I'm not just talking about, you know, that hot and bothered, sexy kind of (laughs) passion. (laughs) Sorry, Daryl, I didn't mean to make you cough. There, You know, it isn't just sex. There are all sorts of different passions, and, you know, this may seem really basic what I'm saying here, but we all need to be reminded of that, living in this highly complex, high technology, and yet sometimes extremely stifling world that we're in. Think of passion in cooking, or passion in sports. Passion in your job. Yeah, career field passion. How about in terms of the arts, writing, dancing, singing, creating, This all requires passion. So today we thought we would take a look at passion in terms of card readings. Now, you can ask any question that you would like to ask for us during the show. It doesn't have to necessarily involve passion. But while I'm responding to your reading request, you know, your question, I'm going to be on the lookout for passion in your cards to see just how well you are connected in terms of your own passionate life. So Daryl's checking. As soon as Lisa comes to save us. huh? Doing good. Doing good. All right. Once we get Lisa here, I'm sure she'll be able to help us out with all these questions that are coming via the live streaming on Facebook. Oh, okay. (coughs) Well, Daryl, put your head in here. (laughs) <laughs> Let's show everybody your passion. You know, Daryl has this passion for hats, caps. Yep. And indeed. he is wearing one of his favorites today, his NCIS cap. He also has the NCIS uh, jacket, 
for the special agent jacket. You've got the... Uh, Lanyard. Yes. <laughs> so if he wants to play NCIS, he's pretty much set up. But seriously, this is one of his passions. He loves the show, which is created very passionately. Yes, it is. And he, you, you follow in terms of the show and all the characters with passion. Right. So we, we just thought we'd show you today what's part of Daryl's passion. And you also love racing. Yes. Yes. That, but then you also have this wonderful job. Now, Daryl, does here. that fall under the, the category of passion? Yeah, I would say so. Yeah. I put myself wholeheartedly into my job and make sure I do the best I can do. Well... Okay, but I think that's maybe more of, like, commitment, responsibility, that sort of thing. Could be. But it's not like you leap out of bed in the morning and say, oh, my God, I get to go to work. <laughs> that's <laughs> Very true. passion. That would be passion. Very true. It kind of sets your hair on fire. Now, I know some of you out there, I know personally, and I know that <sighs> you are in search of that kind of happy, passionate, complete life that you would like so much to live. And you need to shoot us a question because we'd be happy to respond to, to your passionate question. Oh, and by the way, if you want me to wear a hat on the show, get a hold of us. We'll give you our mailing address. You can send it to me. I'll make sure I wear it on the show. And then you will receive a one-hour free, uh, if you're out of the area, it would be a one-hour free phone reading with Ma. And that would be completely confidential and, of course, free of charge. It would be our gift to you. So if you would like to submit a hat, oh, if you're local, you can always come on into the Healing Fountain here in Virginia Beach. Now, if you'd like to contact us on how to get our mailing address, please shoot me an email at Debra, D-E-B-O-R-A-H, and that's at PsychicLoveDoctor.com. I thought you were going to add maybe a little pizzazz <laughs> at the end there. Yeah. Okay, he's coming I'm over. trying to save, save as much voice right. as I can. Am I all shuffled up and ready to go? Yes, you are. All right. If nobody's going to put a question out, I may pick somebody from our audience and just ask a question for there them. You well, we have... We have Alma, Nina, Lisa, and Bob. And did, did Sapphire stay? Uh, I don't. I, well, I was going to pick her, too. Sapphire, you missed out. Oh, well, so I have nice watching. Really? <laughs> well, somebody please type in a question or call us. Again, the number is 800-930-930. Two eight one nine. All right. All right. In the meantime, I've got a question for somebody who's on vacation right now that I'm going to respond to with a reading. She's the mother of four children. They are on vacation, and I'm going to check to see if the upcoming sapphires. Okay, tell Sapphire to hang in there because she's going to be next. I'm going to check and see if the months ahead are going to turn out to be actually pretty quick and pretty good months for this mother who will be undergoing deployment <clears throat> and have to, uh, you know, leave her family during that period of deployment. All right, give me a moment. I am using a full 24 card layout a lot of people online that are giving free readings are generally using a one or three card poll i would rather see the the whole picture if we're going to give a reading let's let's give a reading you know what i mean yep don't shortchange them no and that's and i i don't use this as bait so that you will you know get a hold of me so i'll tell you the rest of the story uh and and manage to squeeze a few bucks out of you i just think that that is really not um, a really good, I guess you'd say, business model, and it's one that I don't that I don't uh, prefer to follow. Now, for the mother who will be having to say goodbye to her wonderful husband and her four beautiful children, it's going to be a time of some real homesickness. You don't need a deck of cards to know that, but I feel that 
if you can keep yourself as busy as possible, play games with your children through the through through the internet or through mail. Um, have the kids work on care packages. I I bet they, that you'll get quite a bang out of that just to see what your daughters and your babies think you need while, while mommy's away. And you know, it's funny how children will compensate for this. Other children that I work with in my day job as a daycare provider have told me that when their mother's deployed, she's actually a superhero and she's out saving people. And she'll be back after she's done being a superhero. And I think that is really pretty great that children can, you know, uh, find a way to to cope with the fact that mommy's gone. Yes, it's going to be hard, but I really think that uh, you should also be very discerning about the friends you make. This is for the mother of the four children, because I'm seeing that there could be some there that are not as honest or truthful, trustable, faithful as friends as they should be. But I think in general, you have a pretty good eye when it comes to picking out people who are going to be your inner circle. And yes, the time is going to pass. And guess what? The hubby's going to do fantastic while you're gone. So we're going to have to go to a break in just a few seconds here. And the number again is 800 930-2819. And Sapphire, be standing by because you're next. See you in a few. Holistic Medical Center is where you find it all. A healthy space with doctors who care, see, and listen to the whole you. Hi, this is Dr. Darvish. If you have not found an answer to your chronic symptoms, you will find answers here at Holistic Medical Center. Our doctors find the root cause of your symptoms and guide your body towards healing naturally. We transform lives from within. Visit drdarvish.com or call 425-451-0404. What is a brilliant culture? And how do we create them? Why are they important? Claudette Rowley has created a breakthrough five-step process to help you design a culture that is authentic, innovative, and successful. Learn how to create change with Cultural Brilliance Radio, the DNA of organizational excellence at Claudette Rowley. To learn more or work with Claudette, visit ClaudetteRowley.com. Hi, I'm Tim Darter. And I'm Steve Kramer. Join us on Spirit Fire Radio. Discover how to add the mechanics of meditation to your day. And watch yourself connect in a whole new way. Find the amazing moments in life's routines that often pass us by. Add to your awareness with Spirit Fire Radio. Tune in each Wednesday at 9 a.m. for your weekly guide to practical mindfulness. And to learn more, visit www.spiritfireradio.com. The Doctor is in. Tune in to the hit show, The Psychic Love Doctor, with host Deborah Lee. Deborah's life affirming, highly perceptive reading method has taught Deborah how to zero in on specific problems with relationships, career pursuits, and current roadblocks to success and happiness. Join Deborah Fridays at 2 p.m. Pacific and for a special broadcast the second Thursday of every month at 11 a.m. Pacific on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Hey everyone, this is Dr. Pat. I am so thrilled. I've had the honor of working with Leslie Fontaine for the past year or so. And what she has created in her hit program, Sheer Alchemy, transcends what most of us get to listen to or hear in any point in time in our lives. But beyond that, Leslie is working with people all over the world and she has created something phenomenal based on the feedback and input from the Archangels, from the Ascended Masters, from the light beings, and most importantly, from each and every one of you. So if you want to change your life, if you're ready to step into your own version of Sheer Alchemy, please give Leslie a call at 678-665-3366. And why? Because this is what you're going to be prepared to do. Be amazed and on your part, connect with the Ascended Masters that are there to help you custom make the life that you are meant to live. 1230 WBLQ. Welcome. 
Welcome back to the Psychic Love Doctor show with me, Deborah Lee, the Psychic Love Doctor. And there's my horse intuitive, intuitive uh, jockey, I mean partner here, Daryl. And thankfully, Lisa has come in the office. She's now going to rescue us. Oh, no rescuing needed. <laughs> Just here for the party. We were about to... Take a look at the cards for Sapphire, who's with us. She didn't have a particular question, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to present one to the cards on her behalf. And I'm going to tell you about it in a minute. Favorite. And maybe uh, Daryl or Lisa could talk for a second while I do this. Now, this is a, a method that Deborah also teaches. Uh, it's something that's easy to learn if you put the work in. As a matter of fact, my now 13-year-old daughter has been reading the cards for almost a year. So anyone out there who might be interested in learning this particular method of personal prophecy with a regular deck of playing cards, you should get in touch with Deborah at D-E-B-O-R-A-H at PsychicLoveDoctor.com. And I know that she'll be more than happy to set you on the path to insight and discovery for yourself and all of those around you. And we do have a caller in the wings. Okay. We have Brian. Brian. All right, well, let's handle this. Sapphire, I see a time of great change around you. It's as if all aspects of your life are shifting, and they're shifting to the good. I feel that you are underemployed, that there, you have many gifts, and as time passes, I was ta projecting your reading from now into the next year. I'm projecting a much more um, satisfying and passion-filled job is out there for you. You don't have to really go looking for it. It's going to come and find you. And that's the beauty when we manifest things that we have perceived in the cards, that we are able to put extra energy into those manifestations. The energy is tremendous. And amazingly, like you, Daryl, you found me. Yeah, I did. And for Sapphire, the job is going to find her. And I think you're really going to love it, hon. Also, in your personal life, there's a young man here who struggles. And the struggle makes him angry. And the, the reason is because he'd like to make a great big bunch of money to show you how much he loves you by saying, here, Sapphire, here's our future right here in my hands. So I just would like you to know that when he seems a little offish, when it seems like his moods are, are in flux, try to remember he's really frustrated. He wants to build this future with you, but he's impatient. And it's hard for him to, you know, one dollar, two dollar. He wants it to be one hundred dollars, two hundred. Yeah. <laughs> so just bear that in mind. I am seeing uh -huh. a serious consideration of marriage down the road for you, and the possibility of another child. Ooh. So, anyway, I think you have lovely cards. Try to keep a positive attitude. That can so often be everything. Yeah, as our lives are going through change. And so right. we can move to the, oh, who's next? The caller. Let's go to Brian from New York. Oh, you already shuffled this one up? Mm -hmm. Brian. Hello. How's everyone? Oh, we're great. How are you? Uh, I'm good. Miss you guys. You guys are just absolutely fantastic. <laughs> No, I have a, uh, just a uh, sort of quick question. I have some housing changes that I see coming in my future. And I basically am making a choice of staying in New York City and keeping the apartment that I have in Brooklyn the same, or actually the possibility of moving in with my friend Rachel, who I have been taking care of her dogs and basically raising her dogs this whole summer. So there might be that possibility of continuing to be with these dogs because we're all so intertwined now. So I would like to see what which the cards way, say about that. To, which way to go? Or what will be the best yeah. choice? Okay. All right, hang on, Brian, while I lay out these fiery cards for you. They're going to be filled with passion. <laughs> <laughs> I, miss being, I miss being card slayer. 
Yes. Well, we're trying to get him over here and get him slaying. Oh, that's right. The one card slayer. <laughs> the one card slayer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, as I'm laying these out. So Deborah is doing a full 24-card layout for you, which, as you know, uh, being a fan of the Psychic Love Doctor show, that this method will not only give you uh, an answer to your specific query, but you will also be able to gain some other insight on perhaps other areas of your life right now. And um, Mm. should the spirit move her, maybe she'll get a little tidbit that that you didn't ask about. Well, right off the top, I'm seeing that moving in with Rachel and helping to raise her dogs, which I love the way he put that. You know, that to me is a true animal lover that will equate taking care of pets as if he were taking care of children. I love that. What I'm hearing is this, this could work, Brian, but... You cannot take her power away. She has to be the, author- no, I don't want to say authority figure. She's still the owner. She's, yeah, she's the owner. She, she You would be her subordinate in the sense right. that she, she needs to make the decisions unless she asks you for your input. And I would also watch That's the socializing enough. Um, especially if you are <laughs> like me, where you tend to wear the lampshade when you've had a few too many, uh, be kind of careful with that because sh- I don't think she shares your same brand of humor. Um, they're, they're totally different types of people. On the other hand, now I am seeing a serious love interest coming along, oh. somebody who is either, uh, moving into the area or is returning to the area. But there is somebody definitely there for you uh, that will develop pretty quickly. And it could be if you're out taking the doggies for a walk, uh, you'll just, you're just, your paths are going to collide. There's a point here that I feel you will meet this particular individual. And I see some, in his case, some, uh, (laughs) some, deep sweaty panting passion for you so <laughs> oh i like that the husband go ahead brian you know, I, the way i say to this one golden retriever i was like hey moose you know what money smells like find me some mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um no, no but i, I, kind of I feel think like you I really have to just remember that woman has to feel that she owns her power in terms of her house Okay, in terms of the work yeah. that you do for her. Um, I'm still not seeing her completely of, relying yeah. on you fully yet. So as she gains more confidence in you, I think that the situation will become more equitable as far as the power between them. Right. Yeah. Yeah, so, I definitely know. Yeah, I think you're going to be uh, letting, letting go or re- subletting the uh, apartment in Brooklyn. Is yeah, what I'm feeling. Up to that point, how do you feel? How do you feel about that? Well, you know, it, it's interesting because she made the because she she sold her big apartment and she's looking for another one and she kind of made the gesture of, or maybe it was just a jest, going, "Hey, what happens if you what happens if you moved in with us and then you could always be with the dogs?" And I was like, "Are you serious?" Kind of thing. And I just kind of let it go. And then I, I bought it up again last week, and she was like, "Cool beans." And then again, I just kind of let it go. Because I need to let her feel like she's making decisions. Yeah, and I think that's a really good idea. Very, very good strategy there. But I think you should accept her offer if you're going to do it. Absolutely, because you know, and I don't want to take up time for your show because I know you're quite a busy woman. But my my work stuff has started to change as well, and I'll have to call back in to, to tell you more about it. But it's all inner kind of intertwined because I've been out here in the Hamptons and have totally come across like this training guru, fitness training and Ooh. have kind of wanted to start doing this kind of work. And it's kind of all related because it's literally like five minutes from here, but she's really big in New York and LA. And as I've called in many times before, and we've talked about my career, about traveling around the world, this could yes. be the beginning of this venture. Well, I think it's time so, to jump in with both feet and just, 
go with it. Just let your spirit be your guide and start doing Absolutely. something you know, with a lot of passion attached. I think you'd love yeah. it. But yeah, we'll, we'll cover that next time, Brian. Daryl's okay. kind of right. uh, trying to rush me here because you have <laughs> we have to go to break radio. in a little tiny bit here. But I love that okay. you called in. Thank you so much. Okay, bye, guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I love when he contacts us. So, we do we have somebody next on board? Because no. we're going to go to break in two minutes. No, no more callers, but we do have some Facebook people who ask him questions. See, now in his case, the one thing with the living situation <clears throat> with the dogs, this would be the J-O-B. Mm-hmm. But the other thing... I'm seeing uh, uh, helping out in the fitness uh, business up the street that he was put in the Hamptons for a reason. It isn't just to take care of a couple of big fur babies. It's also for him to find his true path, which I think is going to turn out well for him. And I feel that Brian would bring a lot of passion to that particular, you know, endeavor that he's looking to undertake. So... But you never know where your path is going to lead, and I think no. you just keep one foot from the other. And um, Ashkaha Pradesh in Hebrew is divine providence. Just go with it. Just go with it. Daryl, we're going to have to get some more Darylisms, or we're going to start mm-hmm. having some Lisa isms. That's, that's fine. <laughs> All works. right. Stand by, everybody. We got right. yeah. We'll be right back, folks. Give us a call 1 800 930 2819. What is a brilliant culture? And how do we create them? Why are they important? Claudette Rowley has created a breakthrough five-step process to help you design a culture that is authentic, innovative, and successful. Learn how to create change with Cultural Brilliance Radio, the DNA of organizational excellence at Claudette Rowley. To learn more or work with Claudette, visit ClaudetteRowley.com. Hi, I'm Tim Darter. And I'm Steve Kramer. Join us on Spirit Fire Radio. Discover how to add the mechanics of meditation to your day. And watch yourself connect in a whole new way. Find the amazing moments in life's routines that often pass us by. Add to your awareness with Spirit Fire Radio. Tune in each Wednesday at 9 a.m. for your weekly guide to practical mindfulness. And to learn more, visit www.spiritfireradio.com. The doctor is in. Tune in to the hit show, The Psychic Love Doctor, with host Deborah Lee. Deborah's life affirming, highly perceptive reading method has taught Deborah how to zero in on specific problems with relationships, career pursuits, and current roadblocks to success and happiness. Join Deborah Fridays at 2 p.m. Pacific and for a special broadcast the second Thursday of every month at 11 a.m. Pacific on TransformationTalkRadio.com. How would you like increased health and vitality? How would you like to avoid the onset of disease as well as slow the aging process? This is all possible through a simple, safe, and natural process. Every day we are either moving toward wellness or away from wellness. Hi, I'm Mary Jane Mack. I'd like to be your partner in achieving optimal health. Contact me now at MaryJaneMack.com or call 425-392-0659. Visit MaryJaneMack.com. Tune in to The Michael Shane Show the third Tuesday of each month at 11 a.m. Pacific on TransformationTalkRadio.com and connect with the ascended beings to raise your vibration and manifest the life you desire. Get ready to receive healing through the transphysical mediumship of Reverend Michael Shane and the ascended beings. Visit MichaelShane.com. That's M-Y-C-H-A-E-L, Shane.com, and call 425-971-6632 to schedule your full healing session now. Artie Hoffman is the hottest psychic with the warmest heart and the host of the hit show Angels and Answers. A renowned psychic, medium, spiritual life coach, and an entertaining motivational speaker, Artie has helped over 15,000 people with his amazing intuitive gifts, his passion, and his humor. Call 877-ANGEL-02 to schedule a personal reading or to have your own psychic Artie party. That's 877-ANGEL-02. And visit ArtieHoffman.com and Angels and Answers on Facebook. 
Welcome back to the Psychic Love Doctor show with our gorgeous host, <laughs> Deborah Lee. Oh, you're so cute, Daryl. That's Daryl, our intuitive co-host, and lovely Lisa behind <clears throat> all the equipment who is making us look good. <laughs> so now we're going to the phone again. All right, we're going to go to Karen, or Kara, from Hoboken. Hello, Kara. Hi, Ka- Hi, Deborah. How are you? Hi. We're very good. We're, we're enjoying ourselves today. How are you? Oh, I'm wonderful. Thank you. And with my um, Ryan, <laughs> and um, I was doing uh, just a summer so day with you're, him. You're and breaking I'm up never... something terrible. On... Oh, okay. Oh, I just wanted to say I'm, I'm very good friends with Brian Simerson, and I'm with him right now. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> we we had danced together for many many years. Well, what can we and do actually, for you I have, today? <laughs> yeah, actually, I don't have a specific question. Um, I've never actually done a, a call-in reading before, so I was wondering if it's possible to have a general a well, general spread or reading. Sh- sure, okay. but just give us a few quick details about you. For instance, sure. are you um, employed? Are you uh, looking to be employed? At the moment, yeah. <laughs> are yeah, you, at the moment just, I'm a... a a new mother. I've been married and a new mother to a 15-year-old, a 15-month-old, sorry, child. And so I'm in between. I'm transitioning from dance into another another part of my life. <laughs> do you know what you'd like to do as yet? Uh, well, before I, um, I did get pregnant, I was accepted into a physical, um, a personal, sorry, a physician's assistant program, a PA program. And I was about to go into that when I uh, we decided to try and have children instead. Aww. And uh, and I I, I I wouldn't take it back for the world. I I have an amazing daughter, and so that's been put on hold. Not sure if I'm going to go into that field because it's quite intense. The school um, it would be about three and a half years. So I may transition into into something else. Uh, but I've always been passionate about science and nutrition and helping people. So hopefully in that okay. field. Well, I want to tell you right off the top as I'm laying your cards down, I am seeing <clears throat> that this shift towards science and medicine and wellness, this is all a calling that's been placed on your life. So you are being led in that direction. I feel it's going to be wonder- a wonderful change. Look at that. Wonderful change <clears throat> coming with the um, well, uh, the news of it, the news of your... A direction that you're going to take is going to come, I see, by letter or phone. Right. And I think that you'll really be happy to be able to strike a balance between motherhood, wife, wife, <laughs> wifedom, <laughs> and yes. also being a, a, a professional student heading toward a new career. So I do feel that you'll be able to work it out. You, you might find yourself um, having to buy sleep. From a gift shop <laughs> on yes. the weekends, but I I do feel that your passion is really going to carry her along. With the right support okay. people in place for you, I see no reason in terms of, uh, say, daycare provider or having your yes. husband help out with the household chores. Mm-hmm. Yes. Which mm-hmm. men can do. Yes. You know, it's funny yes. how they like oh, to say, great. but I don't know how to run that vacuum cleaner. Yeah, oh, well, out let's out get some training right now. You don't hear that out of me. Though. <laughs> but it's, I think that with some key support personnel and for you to um, not demand too much of yourself to try to, like I said, strike a balance I feel that she's really going to get her feet wet and love it. And and by the time oh. your daughter goes to school, you're going to be ready uh-huh. to embark on your new career. And I think oh, it's going to be perfect. fantastic for you. And it's not the, oh, the you. end of the line. I see you going on. Yes. There will be uh, additional uh, tr- training programs offered. I feel that the mm-hmm. sky is the limit for this particular lady. Yeah, I do too. Yeah, from Aww, what you're seeing you here. Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yes, man, right now it may I, seem like there's a lot of question like... marks around you, but yes. it will. the fog will clear. It's just a matter of time. The more, okay. Lisa, you believe in, mm-hmm. a, in manifesting in our daily lives, mm-hmm. I think the more that she yeah. ponders 
what she wants to do, yes. the more it is going to open up in front of her. Absolutely. Okay. So I think it looks I really good there, Kara. Thank you. Do you see any second child possibly? Because the reason I, I'm pondering about whether to go into a new career or possibly have a second child, not sure. To tell you the truth, I feel the second child would come yeah. along. In uh, I see, I'm seeing a gap between the two children. I don't okay. see them being okay. very close together. Now you can change all of that because that's certainly a voluntary thing. I'm just saying that yes, if, you, yes. if you were to postpone it, you will still have another child and a third child later on. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Oh, but you're not <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> well, take care. It's wonderful to meet you and to have had the pleasure of reading your cards. So I uh, hope you'll you be in too. touch again. You all have a wonderful weekend. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. That was a nice reading. Yes. Beautiful girl. Beautiful. She's right. got a beautiful future ahead of her. You know, so many of us think, oh, it's going to be terrible, or my life so far has really sucked, so why would the future be any better? Well, things do transform. I'm wearing, I'm wearing a butterfly today because they symbolize transformation. And today I feel passion is all about transformation. Very much so. Okay, who do we have next? We're beating the clock here. Yes, I believe you said Amla had a question. Yes. Yes, did she provide it? Oh, but she hasn't, she just hasn't. Uh, I she, given you the question. She I don't sent have me an email, and I, I will answer the one question that I clearly recall she answered. Is she still with us? I'm not seeing her with us. We can skip on down, and she can pop back okay. in. Yeah. We have Sarah. Sarah is going to Dubai, and she wants to know: Is it going to be a good trip? Is this um? She's going to see her husband, who is military. Yes, yeah, so he's deployed right now. Oh. Well, you know, I've never been to Dubai, but I heard it's quite the... Uh, very uh, elegant, Elegant. Isn't it? Yeah. It's a very nice place. Upscale. Um, it's grown a lot since I was there about 15 years ago. Is that the place with the indoor skiing? Yes. Oh, how cool High that rises. would have to be. The pictures I've seen of the place look absolutely breathtaking. Yeah, they have a, have a mall there that has an indoor ski slope on it. Woo! It even has an indoor ski chalet where you can drink, like, <laughs> halfway down the mountain, which I think is pretty imaginative. Lots of money around that area. Maybe that's a psychic love doctor uh, field trip. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. that would be fun. Broadcasting live from Dubai with Sarah. <laughs> and you know the airlines that come and go from there, they're quite posh and very elaborate themselves. So well, it's because there's a lot of oil money there. Exactly. So good for Sarah to see being able to go for a trip. I think it's going to be fabulous. The traveling part, eh, maybe not so much. I sense some delays, maybe due to weather. But you know, these are things out of our control. Just make sure you have a lot of. Uh, stuff to entertain yourself with extra can you bring these on the plane the extra battery packs oh yes yeah mm -hmm. yeah and uh, maybe you know try not to snack too much i see that you'll be sorry that you <laughs> indulgent <laughs> yeah to come back and weigh yourself and go oh my god but uh it would only be due to some uh travel delays that i'm seeing that could be an issue and tra or as far as weather Weather is really hard to pin down and predict, absolutely. So I would just say be prepared. Then likely those delays won't happen. Um, is, is she communicating with you? She says, yay. Does she? Uh, is she hoping for any more children? Well, now, isn't that a big old question there? Well, Let's see what Sarah has to say about that. <laughs> I am... I'm, I'm wondering if this trip could give her a parting gift <laughs> to take home. <laughs> Sarah, are, are you planning on having any more children? She says, I'm here. <laughs> well, she, well uh, we'll just tell her. Right. Your cards are indicating that a, there's a little boy <clears throat> spirit floating all around you. And I see this as a potential for no more children? Well, not really, but you have told me I would have another one soon. <laughs> and this could be the trip. You know, these uh, whole, these, uh, what would you call them? These are being reunited across 
the globe. These can be dangerous times for conception as far as <laughs> contra. <laughs> See, that's the benefit of the cards. If that's a possibility, she yes. has the free will to go, oh, you know what? <laughs> that's not going to happen. Yes, you can load up on extras. <laughs> Okay, well, um, it's going to be a wonderful trip. And, Sarah, when you get back, we'd like a full report. We want you to no, check in with us. She's not going to, I think it was October. Yeah, but that's coming up pretty fast. Yeah. So, in case she can't hook up with us before then. Your feed died, and Anna had posted her question, and it disappeared. Well, it, won't it still be there when you click back? And on the new Darn. technology. <laughs> okay, well, we're coming up on a break anyways. So see the, the random, not randomness, but the variety of reading questions that we're getting today. This is so fun for me because we get to go in all different types of directions. And I do want Sarah to know I see safety all around that trip. She's traveling in a circle of golden light. Aww. Yeah, so she doesn't have to worry about any kind of anything. Some people worry, you know, you're traveling to these areas that so could be a little bit iffy. But I think du Dubai is pretty safe, isn't it? Oh, yeah. It? It's very safe. All right, Daryl, take us out of this segment. You do it so well. <laughs> All right. Stand by, folks. We'll be right back. Give us a call, 1-800-930-2819. Yeah. What if your body and mind were the compasses to the secrets, mysteries, and magic of life? Glenna Rice, co-host of The Questionable Parent, is inviting you to access all that is possible. Glenna is a 10-year certified veteran access consciousness facilitator who offers an amazing variety of life-changing classes and workshops. Work with Glenna from anywhere with teleclasses and workshops all over the globe. To learn more and see Glenna's current schedule of events, classes, and workshops, visit GlennaRice.com. How would you like increased health and vitality? How would you like to avoid the onset of disease as well as slow the aging process? This is all possible through a simple, safe, and natural process. Every day we are either moving toward wellness or away from wellness. Hi, I'm Mary Jane Mack. I'd like to be your partner in achieving optimal health. Contact me now at MaryJaneMack.com or call 425-392-0659. Visit MaryJaneMack.com. Tune in to The Michael Shane Show the third Tuesday of each month at 11 a.m. Pacific on TransformationTalkRadio.com and connect with the ascended beings to raise your vibration and manifest the life you desire. Get ready to receive healing through the transphysical mediumship of Reverend Michael Shane and the ascended beings. Visit MichaelShane.com. That's M-Y-C-H-A-E-L, Shane.com, and call 425-971-6632 to schedule your full healing session now. Artie Hoffman is the hottest psychic with the warmest heart and the host of the hit show Angels and Answers. A renowned psychic, medium, spiritual life coach, and an entertaining motivational speaker, Artie has helped over 15,000 people with his amazing intuitive gifts, his passion, and his humor. Call 877-ANGEL-02 to schedule a personal reading or to have your own psychic Artie party. That's 877-ANGEL-02. And visit ArtieHoffman.com and Angels and Answers on Facebook. Do you want to achieve your goals? Do you want to strengthen relationships with others? Do you want to improve your financial status? Colette Marie Steffen is partnering with Mark Kettenbach to bring you an energetic upgrade online experience. Unfold and develop your full potential. Visit energeticupgrade.com today for more information. That's energeticupgrade.com. The doctor is in. Tune in to the hit show, The Psychic Love Doctor, with host Deborah Lee. Deborah's life affirming, highly perceptive reading method has taught Deborah how to zero in on specific problems with relationships, career pursuits, and current roadblocks to success and happiness. Join Deborah Fridays at 2 p.m. Pacific and for a special broadcast the second Thursday of every month at 11 a.m. Pacific on TransformationTalkRadio.com. 1230 WBLQ. A little later. This is Ronnie Hi, welcome back to the Psychic Love Doctor Show with our fantastic host, Deborah Lee. 
and our raspy but <coughs> sexy intuitive co-host Daryl. Yes. Plus techie, <laughs> techie giant Lisa, who is behind all the cameras. Do we have? We have a question from Rebecca. Okay. Rebecca says that her family communication is pretty much non-existent. She wants to know if you have any insight about why there isn't any, and do you think it's her? Huh. That's interesting. All right, let's take a look. All right. It's very interesting when you're mixing in with family dynamics and so many players can contribute to a communication breakdown. It's unfortunate. I'm wondering if these are her blood relatives or in-laws or, you know, as I'm laying mm -hmm. the cards out. And Jessica's just throwing out there that she likes your background, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. I'm so educated. Actually, these are all Lisa's claims to fame behind me. Yes, and um, she also said she'd like to learn how to read off playing cards. And I, I mentioned earlier for all your Transformation Talk radio listeners that Deborah does teach this method. And if you are just chomping at the bit to want to know what someone is thinking, feeling, or doing, give her an email. And then I'll introduce you to, the, we do our courses from a completely different standpoint. I handpick those that will become my students. And then if you decide to become credentialed, then we would there would be a fee involved. But until then, there's no fee. It shifts the responsibility yes. from the teacher to the student, where the student <laughs> is responsible to the teacher, if you know what I mean. <laughs> As for her family situation, there is a very weird dynamic here at work. I'm seeing two key females that seem to be the culprits. And it could even be women that go back in, into the lineage here. It might be grandma. A great grandma it could be, but there's definitely two women that I keep hearing the words troublemaking mm. and interfering that it is not you, Rebecca, it is not you. It is definitely through the female end of this family. And, you know, the men just kind of, they... Are they bystanders? Yeah, they and they just kind of dummy up through it all <laughs> so that they don't have to stick their necks out. You know, we women, we're very verbal, and we can be very hurtful and careless in what we say, and then or very passive-aggressive. That is another big tool of ours, where men, men have learned from being very small that they are going to have to possibly back up anything they say with some muscle so they're discerning as far as what they're going to put out just because they know they may have to roll somebody like a donut <laughs> and, and as we get older we learn to pick the battles that we can win and we women come on we've got <clears throat> memories like elephants we remember stuff so far back that you know men's jaws drop <laughs> so anyway i want to say I just want to say that you don't own it. You don't have to be part of it. Now, as I've explained it to you, that there are these two women here that are the, the ones responsible. Take note of the dynamics. You know, watch what's going on. And we can talk again later down the road. There's also seems to be a thorny patch concerning some money. Might have been an inheritance. Could be property. But there's a there's a an ongoing battle. It can even be a battle of silence. Okay. Oh, Got time to squeeze another caller in. I think we do. And thank All you right. very much, Rebecca. Let's go to Chris from California. Hello, Chris. How are you today? We're doing well. How are you? Uh, okay, and I just have a. You want to know if I'm ever going to find true love. Oh. I well, just have the worst luck question. with men. What was the last part? I just have the worst luck with men. Oh, oh boy. Can we, some of us we here, can relate. relate. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, this is Lisa. I'm curious, uh, what has been your method or modality of looking for a true love? Are you out there dating? Are you on websites? 
I was, and I stopped because I keep getting, I'm just, I just attract the wrong men. Ah. And it's like, and I stop, and now I'm with somebody now, but it's just falling to the same situation. I get so you're the, finding the that these men that, that you drinking, you've been, maybe kind of have the same type of patterns? Yeah, and it's like I try to avoid that pattern, but it always ends up wrong. Oh, just okay. wrong. And it's just like I'm 52 years old. I don't never been married, don't have children, but it's just like want to meet somebody who's, who's, who I can share my life with, a partner. Well, I first of all, I, have to I am pushing 60, and you are still a very young, beautiful, vibrant, and vital woman. And you should not think of as if your life is half over. The best part is just beginning. All right, and as I look okay. at your cards, here's what I'm seeing. Now, I just had it, and it flew out of my head what I, how I was going to start this. First of all, yes, here it is. I would like you to shift your perspective in, you look, in looking at these wrong men that you have met. Your cards tell me that these men have actually been lessons. It's like you've gone to the boyfriend academy <laughs> or university, <laughs> and you're taking, you know, uh, loser 101, 102, whatever, but... It is oh actually God. not that um, you, they are wrong men. If you can try to think of them, and Lisa, you can probably mm -hmm. put this in better therapy language. If she can look at this as lessons that she has learned, there's a sense of yeah. not. Lessons of what she does want and what she doesn't want, because she's definitely learning what she doesn't mm -hmm. want. Exactly. So now it's time mm -hmm. for the what she does want to come on. And what I'm going to ask you to do is just quit. Quit dating. And I know you might be thinking, what in the heck is she telling me here? <laughs> Stop looking. You, know you can't, you can't exactly hunt it down. Do. It's got to come to you in, your, in its own best way and time. And Lisa hasn't mm -hmm. looked in the past. She's mm -hmm. met some wonderful guys. And what I would say is if you can shut it down, don't go out on a date with anybody for, we'll say, six months. Just six months, okay. unless he comes wearing Prince Charming <laughs> your shoes and, and clothing, then I would go for it. But, and ride the white stallion. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. And, but Great. I'm telling you, the one right for you is on the way. But, but what you need to do is just stop and let it happen, and it will. This is where faith comes yeah. into play. I took four years and said, <clears throat> hey, if I have to go through life alone without one of these jerks, then that's what I'm going to do. But, and and yes. you came along. Okay. You knocked from Great. the other side of my computer screen. Yes, I did. So I would like, we're really short on time. We're going to have to sign off. And what I'd like, though, Chris, is if you could join us for another show, like say maybe next Friday, we can go into this a little bit more. I really don't like to okay. just, you know, try to hustle somebody yeah. off the show. <clears throat> Okay, of But this could be a Thank very you. good period for you to get ready for Mr. Right instead of Mr. Right now. Okay? <laughs> exactly. So I got two minutes Thank to say you. goodbye to everybody. And Chris, thank you so much. Um, we'll try thank to get you. you in first next time if you call at the top of the show. Okay. In the meantime, bye -bye. everyone, please take care. Lisa, Daryl, always, we, I so enjoy you helping me. Um, we'll, we'll say goodbye with the words of my grandmother, who all who taught me personal prophecy and who always said, "To dream is to believe. Once you believe, all things are possible." Also, if you want to get a hold of Deborah, give yes. her your email, please. My email is Deborah D E B O R A H, and I am at at well at psychiclovedoctor.com. <clears throat> all right, everyone, have a great week. Have a great weekend. Thank you. We'll talk to you all next week. You've been listening to The Psychic Love Doctor with host Deborah Lee. Deborah has been practicing, teaching, and perfecting the personal prophecy card reading method for 20 plus years. This life affirming, highly perceptive reading method has taught Deborah how to zero in on specific problems with relationships, career pursuits, and current roadblocks to success and happiness. 
This inspiring show will help you never feel helpless in life or love ever again. To learn more about Deborah, visit www.psychiclovedoctor.com. 